Mm-hmm. 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 It's not me, fam. They say I hate Stormzy, but it's not me this time. It's not me. Okay then, you're a bad boy, okay then. Okay then. Wicked skeng man, okay then. Okay then. But all that money can't buy these flows. Someone have a go, okay then. It can't buy the flows. That's spray pen. Hashtag murky, but you're not a murker. What? Promise when I finish with this coconut, I'm gonna push his hairline back further. Oh, no! Murky, could that hairline need surgery? <laughs> I don't wanna hear about Shit. hashtag murky Them way that's a can't murk me Yo, One minute you're on home invasions mm-hmm. Next minute you're at strangers paying Tell him. Like why you love going in people's houses Yo, ten in a year yard you pagan what? You know on the mic I'm a cannibal You can't even handle cannabis Twin and a crew should have warned you Chipmunk don't do panicking Yo, No way He took a L and he tried stand tall before he fell mm-hmm. So he's a man of his word in some, some ways way. But he's on stalking like a girl what? Cocaine my nose don't know the smell Oh no, is man actually saying that Stormzy's on that white oh. You know what? I'm gonna keep my mouth shut, man. To your only fans, boy, I don't give two fucks what you sell. Mm-hmm. Boy, I don't give two fucks what you sold. Mm-hmm. You got that contradictory flow. Mm-hmm. One minute is for the government, fuck Boris. Next minute you're telling people vote. Oh, boy, you're what? not a Christian, you're a fraud. Crucify oh, him, no. praise the Lord. How are you blinded by his grace? But I still manage to find a door. To save your life, you couldn't spit like me. You can get it in British or get it in Tweet. Mm. Gem, Spang, Kwasi, Asim. Weird, Jem, me, don't try me again. Dickhead. I'ma ask no. this boy to a seat, do a U turn, spin back round. You came up remixing my bars, print not the other way around. You can't run, run out, out of bars. bars. Just like Chip, you I can't run out of bars. bars. That's what you bars, said. No. Now you dead if when I was dead. You just run out of bars. Don't 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 run out of Hello there, walk one man, walk one gala. We have to start the podcast, right? We are the pod fellas, being bringing you everything entertainment. But remember, all is art and all art is man-made in the image of God. With me, I have legacy to my right-hand side, weighing in at 150 pounds. Yo. If the audio skills to... Kill a man. Yo. Well, we don't do that, but, you know, trying to hype up the situation. Oh, my God. What did Chipmunk do to Stormzy? Did, did, did we actually create this? What? This, this beef. Okay, we didn't create this beef. But did we, did, we, did we spot this? Is that what happened? Because when I woke up this morning and I saw that this was happening, I was a little bit shocked. I just saw it on Twitter. Same. I just saw it on Twitter and I was like, what the... Actually... Someone, I did read it somewhere where someone said that Stormzy might have had a little jab on that new song with Getz, but I don't, I didn't listen to that because I, I purposefully do not listen to Stormzy. Yeah, I didn't. I saw it yesterday. It came up on my feed, and I just didn't yeah, I just to it. yeah, I just didn't listen to it. Like I like Getz. Don't get me wrong. No disrespect to Getz because I, I believe that was actually Getz's song. Yeah. But if I see a song featuring Stormzy, I'm not listening to it because. There's going to be a part of that song that's going to be so candy to me that I just want to turn it off. So I'm like, why do I keep doing this? Anyways, <clears throat> not because I hate Stormzy, Chipmunk came out and then just dropped this gem. Like, I don't know if Stormzy actually dissed Chip or, or whatever. I'm, I'm not going to be listening to this song to go find out. But if you don't know if he did, you can comment in the comment section or whatever. But like, this is fucking hard. How fast does Chipmunk work if that's the situation? Oh, he had this. He was ready. Oh, he... He had it on the hard drive, on the hardy. <clears throat> the thing was on the hardy. It was just ready, on full on hardness. Pause. <laughs> yeah, chip. <laughs> Mad. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't listened to both of them yet. So. What, 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 what do you mean both of them? There's only one to listen to. Yeah, but some people are saying that like, oh, chip is coming for Stormzy three times now, and he's getting aired. And some people are like, are you dumb? He. Uh, Stormzy just sent that's, chip that's what I saw the but the thing is those people that are saying oh he's getting Ed so what if he's getting Ed because Chip is bullying him that's why he can't respond not every time okay I, I saw that perspective as well people were trying to sorry to cut you off really quickly people were trying to paint the the, the, the perspective that Storms is too big yeah no he's not Drake exactly. he's not too big especially if you claim to be the king of grime Prove that by responding. You haven't proved anything. And even your response to Wiley, 
your little white fans gassed you up. In my opinion, Wiley won that. It's people, they don't know anything about hip-hop beef. It's because they saw Nothing. Drake pull the, oh, I'm going to ignore him. Andre but that's Budden different. Whatever. Yeah, Drake can do that, but you can't claim that you're the king. Exactly. It doesn't matter if the person, you deem the person to be weaker than you, fam. If you're a king and enemy enemy army is living in your territory, like, well, you have to retaliate. You're not king. You're not, you have fam, no you're not choice. king. You're you just no the ghost choice. before the town now, fam. You can't claim king. You're not king no more. Like, yeah. man's the ghost beef of grime. Yeah. Chip is not happy that he said that shit. <laughs> of course. Happy. And Chip is like, fam, I'll bar you under the fucking table, bro. Stop talking. It's just that simple. I, I see, yeah, like, like I was saying earlier, I see the Stormzy fanboys. But let me explain to you lot. The difference between what Drake did and what Stormzy is currently doing, there's two main differences. Number one, when Drake has been challenged by someone else who the the perception of the audience is this person is the king of hip hop. Guess what Drake has done? He's come back hard. Even with Mick Mill, you can argue people didn't not everyone thought Mick Mill was like the king of hip hop, but he had enough importance for Drake to go right back to back. That's the difference. Chipmunk, don't get construed constru- just because you've you have you have only listened to Blinded by the Lights or Blinded by the Grace. Or whatever the fucking track that you heard Stormzy on and you think he's a pop star. If he's claiming to also be the king of grime, he has to respond. It's just that simple. And if he doesn't, then we're going to take it as, nah, you don't want this smoke, innit? And Chipmunk has said it time and time again, you do not want this smoke. Prove him wrong. And the funny thing is, it's not just Chip that feels this way. Even, even Everyone the few, in the few responses that I saw on Twitter was like, <laughs> they had bare aggression towards Stormzy. One was yeah. like, one was like, fam, Stormzy does this gospel. Like He was like, Stormzy's fans aren't grime fans. They're, They're not. R&B, They're not. gospel, sing-songy Fam. females. And they were like, the man them don't listen to Stormzy for we no don't. grime. We don't. Like, I've been, that's what I'm, I've been trying to say this, but people, like, even the, the, there's a comment on one of our YouTube channel that was saying about how, oh, this grime purist, by the way, I'm not a grime purist. No, I'm not. Like, I not don't believe grime should be, like, in the old, uninvolved state. I don't believe that at all. Oh, this grime purist forced the hate of Stormzy. No, we're not forcing the there's hate. No we, hate. We just... No, no, they, for me, there is. There's, there's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not hate on the person he is. I don't know who he is. Hate on his music that he releases. No. I do not like it. Like, I, I think it's just fucking bullshit. And it's just one of those things that a lot of people pay attention to that I try not to pay attention to it because I don't think it's original, number one. It's not organic. And it just sounds bad sometimes. It does sound bad sometimes, but right. it's, it's clear that he's trying to make a transition into well, of course it is, a but more in mainstream audience. So it's very, it's very obvious, and that's not the part that I hate. That's l- let me, let me, let me make a difference. That's not the part that I hate. Of course, you can do that, but there are different routes of doing that. The route that he's taken isn't going to give him le- he's trying longevity. To have one foot in, one foot out. I know, that's what I'm saying. So that route that he's taken is he's not going to have longevity. Like, he's going to be the biggest artist for maybe the next two years. Yeah. And then by the time the art, I mean, the, the label, they've recouped the money and made a lot more off of everything that he's released and invested in tunes that they're going to make so much fucking money off in the future. Yeah. Then Stormzy's not going to be here anymore. He's not going to... Or he might still be here, but not at that level that you are seeing him in right now. Yeah. And that's the thing. that my, my, my fight isn't against Stormzy, the person. My fight is, if you're a musician and you want to be the person that the whole world listens to and they're like, okay, cool, that music is from UK. That's what you want to represent. Then you have to do it right. You have to care about the quality of music that you release. I feel like he doesn't care about the quality of music he releases. Like Skepta has been in the game, not not to keep comparing both of them, but for our for our American audience, those are the two rappers that they know, and it's a pretty good comparison. Skepta has been in the game fifteen plus years. He still cares about every single tune that he releases. That's got to be some quality shit. If it's not the beat, it's the bars. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, even when he did this shit that he, he went commercial, <clears throat> fam, this song was fucking hard. 
So there's no, like, we're not hating on grime artists going commercial. For all of you guys that want to make the argument, that's not, that's, like, Storms is just shit. There, I said it. He's, he's just shit, like, in my opinion. If you call yourself a grime artist, like, honestly, you're not, you're nowhere near being the king of grime. If you call yourself a rapper, I'll give you that. You ha you do have some bars, but you're like a logic type of rapper to me. I'm not going to listen to you. It's just that. Just it's that simple. But anyways, <clears throat> that kept happening. And um, guess who's back in town? Wiley? Yes. Yeah. The boys is back in town. The boys is back in town. Grandfather of Grime obviously had to weigh in on the situation. And Wiley is the funniest motherfucker on Twitter, fam. I'm not gonna lie to you. And guess what his name on Twitter is called? What? Anti systematic. <laughs> the first time I read it, I read it as anti systematic. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa, this guy is wild. Like, I actually kind of low key wish that was what he did. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny as fuck. But he's back on Twitter getting his tweets off. And obviously he mentioned the whole situation between Stormzy and Chipmunk. Yeah. And how, oh, when it was me, you know, was quick to reply because you could use the old age. And he was completely right. That's the thing. Storm I mean, not Stormzy. Wiley, he's not crazy. He just says shit that a lot of people are scared to say. Yeah. Like, it's just that simple. Like, there's a difference between a, a crazy person and an unfiltered person. That's why, obviously, all the media hate comes from him. But sometimes I feel like some of that shit is planned. But sometimes it looks very real. I'll be honest. But anyways, with Wiley, he said that, oh, when when that was all happening with me sending to you and you sending back, you only send back because it could benefit you lot. You lot could use the, the perspective of, oh, he's so old, he's washed. Do you get what I'm saying? But with Chipmunk, you can't do that. Now you got to see talent to talent, level to level. It's got to be the people's, do you know what I'm saying? The people's, yeah, the people's judging opinion. it. Yeah. Now you're not going to respond. Speak. You're 100% right, Wiley. 1,000%. I knew we lost Stormzy. Do you know when I knew? When do you know? When I saw a, a video of him at the Brit Awards, oh. running, running up to... Um, Adele, was what, it? No, nah, no, nah, what's her name? What's her name? The, the one that whispers every time she sings. Um, oh, fuck. Billie uh, Eilish. Oh, Billie Eilish. Yeah. Like, oh, wow, oh my God, your music's so amazing. Of oh, course, my God. Of days. course. I was like, Stones <laughs> is gone. He's gone. They're, they've got him. Let's not forget there was like a whole period of like a year or two where he was sucking at those dicks. They've got him. Like, like publicly. Him. Just sucking at dick. Oh, my God, that was the best. Oh, my God. I'm such a coon for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, he, he wants to sing, huh? <laughs> like, like, there's nothing wrong with that. But just go sing. Don't claim that you're the king of grime. Don't don't even claim you're a grime artist. Because, to be honest with you, he's not. Like, you blew off a grime song. Cool. That was cool. You, 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 to be honest with you, I'm going to make a bold claim that no one else is... No one else... Everyone else is too scared to say this. But Stormzy is a culture vulture. Stormzy. Yes, he is. Stormzy started off rapping, which is cool. A lot of people start off rapping and maybe they might go to grime and then go to drill. But a lot of people do that and then fall in love with that genre of music. Otherwise, they're not going to keep doing it. I feel like Stormzy saw that grime was... Because when he really shut up, it was around the time where grime was taken off. I, I feel like this is how I feel from the outside looking in. I feel like he saw that, or his manager's team, or whatever, the manager, whoever the fuck saw it. And then they were like, how about we put you out as a grime artist? And then after that, you can do whatever you want. Because that's what he's proving now. Like, when he came out with Shut Up, <clears throat> came out with Where Do You Know Me From, all of those grime tunes. And some of those tunes, I'm going to admit, are classic tunes. Because in the moment, at the time, like, yeah. you know, we all, ate, we all ate it up. Do you get what I'm saying? And then now, fam, like you, it's clear that you you're not in love with grime. It's clear that you don't love grime as, as much as you claim that you do. So I'm saying that Stormzy is a culture vulture, and just stop claiming that you're associated with grime because honestly, you just used it. Now you've used it, you've blown. There's no need for you to use it. There's no need for you to keep claiming it. That's the thing. That's the beef that I have. Because there's no need for him to use it. Like 
He's already blown. Yeah, nobody would have an issue if he didn't say he was the king. Exactly. King of crime. Just stop saying it. Ridiculous. Exactly. <laughs> Just stop saying it. Because you're not. Anyways. So, um, so who is actually eligible for the for crown? the king of oh? I think question. Chip is the only one that's eligible because <sighs> Stormzy said that he was the king of grime, and the only one that had yeah, an that issue with it was, was or Chipmunk. actually acted on the issue is Chipmunk. No, Wiley also had an issue with it. Let's not do that's that. That's cool. What? No, but Wiley's also eligible for that. Wiley's eligible. Yeah, because like, like I listened to a snippet. You know what? Let me let me see if I can find it. Is Skepta eligible? Yeah, I think that's the thing. There's an argument but there. Is There's an eligible? argument there, but at the moment, does he ever step up to fight? Is he battle tested? But the thing is, no, no, don't do that. Skepta is battle tested one thousand percent. Have you not? Have you not seen Lord of the Max, the basement? Yeah, of course. Lord exactly. Of the Max. Like every man is class Skepta. Every man is lost. In a, in a in apart a, from maybe Kano. In a planned clash. So. In a predetermined clash. So, I, I, okay. Remember, remember, we used to talk to um, we used to talk about a ghost, a ghost named Devil Man. Yeah, exactly. Where is he now? Oh, that's true. Exactly. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Stormzy done out his clot. That's true. Exactly. It's like I mean, not Stormzy. Excuse me, Skepta. Skepta done out his clot. Like, don't play with Skepta, bro. That's true, that's true. But the only reason why I might say maybe presently I can't give that to Skepta is because he's purposefully not making music centered around grime only because he wants a wider audience. Yeah. And obviously he's becoming huge in America as well. So, you know, I can understand that. And all day, every day, commercialize your music, capitalize off of your talent. Like I'm not, I'm not hating against a nigga getting money off his fucking music. Like what the fuck type of shit is that? But don't claim certain shit in it. Like Stormzy, I mean, not Stormzy. Why do I keep doing that? Skepta isn't going around going, oh, fuck all of you, I'm the king of grime. And then releasing um, tunes. Of, exactly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's not doing that. that. That's the issue. Just stop doing that. And no, like, everyone in grime is not going to pay t- Everyone in grime doesn't even pay attention to you now already anyways. But we're not going to pay attention to you anymore. Or say things about you that you might be hurt about. You know? Just stop. Like, be Billie Eilish. Be Adele, you know what I mean? Why Stormzy always want to be a white girl? It's not, it's not <laughs> my business. It's not my business. <laughs> I just clocked. This guy want to be a white girl so bad. That's bad. Anyways, anyways. Um, so Wiley was back on Twitter, as I said earlier. And um, I guess, I'm not sure completely, but I guess this is like a publicity stunt. It looked like that anyways. But I just, because... Obviously, Wiley's been off to her. So I, I, I didn't know what he was back. Do you get what I mean? So I'm just scrolling from my timeline. And I see Jamma go, oh, why is Wiley posting a picture of Kano? Kano doesn't even like Wiley. Oh, no. And I, I know. I, like, when I saw the tweet, I was like, whoa, what, what the fuck? Like, where did this stem from? Where did this come from? Because obviously, they're all friends. Yeah. I'm assuming they're all part of the same crew. Because yeah. Wiley is actually a part of EBK. Yeah. Just, you know, a member that can do whatever the fuck he wants. But, back to your story. So I see that, and then there was a barrage, a barrage, an avalanche of more tweets coming after that. Just dissing Wiley, just being disrespectful. From Jammer. Yeah, from Jammer. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not going to read all of them because it was bad. And then at the end of it, he said, no, no, someone, a fan, commented, Replying to Jammer saying, why are you dissing my guy on a platform that he can't respond to you on? Because I was thinking that while he was doing all of this on Instagram, like the, with the posting of the picture or whatever. And I was like, oh, that's a good point. Like, he can't even talk for himself. Cool. I'm off this now. And then Jammer replies saying, oh, he's on Twitter. This is his app, blah, blah, blah. So that made me think, oh, smart marketing. You man are doing smart marketing. I see what's going on. Like, at first I was like, oh my God, it's about to be beef. Sendings, clashes. Because Wiley's ready for the beef. I imagine the old grime art MCs, like the granddad, granddad old star clashes. Like, it's going to be kind of yeah. kind of be lit. Like, yeah, it's, it's got to be lit. But um, it didn't turn out to be that. I was excited and I came to you and I was like, oh, there might be a passer. Last night I was like, oh, Hakeem might be excited because there'll be passer. 
That's what you're looking for. But there was actual pasta this morning when I woke up. Yep. With Chipmunk and um, Stormzy. I was so... I mean, I, I wouldn't say I was shocked, but... That's crazy, man. <clears throat> Anyways, 